right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology once again nice to see you back and today we will discuss again <laughs> i made two videos on this already no no three i think and this is another time i'm making this video on um, saturn's transit so saturn is again going to enter mula nakshatra very soon it is entering i guess on 5th of uh 5th of june and then i think till november mid or something like that it's going to stay there all right so mula nakshatra energy is again going to come into the surface of this universe all right so if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a personal consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and if you have not watched my videos on saturn transit which is on uh, the which is there in the description uh, below you can go and watch them all right i have put all the links to the videos which i had made so now what's happening and yes before i begin i must say god is there with you all the time just just look to him no no just don't look you do also things then saturn will uh, saturn will reward you and god will profusely reward you all right so what's happening now is saturn is retrograde as you know so the ret in the retrograde uh, video i said that saturn is now going from purva shatra back to mula nakshatra yes so now what is mula nakshatra mula nakshatra is basically the galactic center of the universe yes from where all the higher dimensional frequencies descend not exactly but on layman's terms you can Uh, understand and speak and say like that which basically means that if somebody has prominent planets in mula nakshatra especially if you have the sun moon or the ascendant or the lord of the ascendant placed then it's very strong which means strong for spiritual purposes because mula nakshatra shows the roots i will not go into the technical details of the dts and different uh, planetary rulers like for example ketu is the planetary ruler of mula nakshatra and all the other technical aspects i'll ignore it in this video but the most important thing to understand is and yes before i say anything regarding this video forget where your moon is forget which ascendant you are forget what planet is there in mula nakshatra just forget the entire horoscope you do not need a horoscope to understand this video all right forget that you even are a living entity j- j- just forget your horoscope forget that you are aries ascendant or you are a taurus ascendant just forget it for once it for all just forget it because irrespective of whichever is your ascendant or wherever is your sun wherever is your moon wherever is your saturn wherever is your venus this energy is going to affect the entire universe and why i am saying the entire universe because this is not ordinary transit because it is the transit of saturn and saturn in transit is one of the most important planets yes in fact it is the most important planet in transit because it is the slowest moving planet in vedic uh, astrology of course if you ignore the uh, outer planets like uranus neptune pluto so jupiter stays in one sign for a roughly 12 to 13 months sometimes bit less or more but that's the average time but saturn stays for very long two two and a half three years going front then going retrograde again yes then rahu ketu we all know roughly 18 months and then we all know the uh, time for other planets yes so saturn becomes very 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 important because saturn is the one which builds the foundation So what does Jupiter does in transit Jupiter Jupiter will give you optimism related to areas for example recently i had shot a video with Vishti Larson and i have uploaded uh, the parts and maybe uh, i'll be uploading the remaining parts also very soon but in that video when i was talking to him before shooting the video he was telling me uh, we were discussing on which topic to shoot the session on so then he told me that whichever sign jupiter transits in one year that for that year people become interested in those areas so now which sign is jupiter transiting 
Jupiter is transiting the sign of Libra, which is the original seventh sign of the zodiac, but of the Kal Purush Kundli, which means that people will be interested in relationships. All right, because Libra is all about relationships, love, romance, sexuality, affairs, deals, contracts, agreements, negotiations, other people, mixing, dating. All this comes under Libra. So now, this is what Jupiter does. But what does Saturn do? Saturn will force people to work on areas. Yes. So now, when Saturn is transiting in the sign of Sagittarius, what is actually happening? Sagittarius is the original ninth sign of the zodiac belt. Yes, we know. Number nine. It is ruled by Jupiter. And Sagittarius is the Mool sign of Jupiter. So, Sagittarius, Jupiter, these ninth house, you try to combine all this. Yes, spirituality, God. So, because of that, many, 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 many people are becoming more and more interested towards all these things. Now, because of which, they are not only, see, the Jupiter in Libra energy is acting, but the Saturn in Sagittarius energy is acting in a way that people are trying to build foundations. Yes, building foundations practically on a ground level that is happening in the sign of Sagittarius and depending on the nakshatras where Saturn transits you will get a different flavor so October last year it transited to Mula nakshatra of course it had transited 26th January last year only but then again it went back to Scorpio retrogression and then it became direct and then again uh, October last year it had entered Sagittarius Mula nakshatra so that time when Saturn crossed Scorpio, the Gandanta zone and entered the sign of Sagittarius, I had made a video. That video is also there in the description. So that in that video, I had said that suddenly out of the blue, <laughs> many of my friends and many people who I know, they started calling me and saying, man, I don't know after October mid, what is happening? That we are that I'm going and doing this spiritual practice. I'm going and doing that spiritual practice. And I am not talking of Capricorn or Aquarius Ascendance here. People may think, oh, their Lagna Lord is going in Mula, so that is why it is happening. No, they will face it more, but everybody will face it. Again, I said, forget your Ascendant, forget your Sun Moon. It, it, it's irrespective of anything because Saturn's transit is very important. Yes, and now again it entered Mula Nakshatra in December. So, uh, so, sorry, in October. So from there it was going, going, going and it entered Purvashada. So... When it goes from Mula to Purvashada, what happens is our, because see what Mula Nakshatra represents, Mula Nakshatra represents grounding things, yes. If you have any plans, then Mula Nakshatra forces you to act on them or either throw them out, which means Mula Nakshatra will help you to see is the practical implementation of your so-called plans possible or not. Because when you try to make roots in the ground you will realize you can't do everything <laughs> which means you will realize your limit and that is what saturn does saturn in mula is a very strong energy why because there they have very similar aspects the planet and the nakshatra yes which means that saturn wants you to focus jupiter is the planet of optimism and higher belief and inclusiveness yes saturn is not like that saturn says focus focus on one thing because they say saturn is restriction and that is why saturn is also seen the strength of saturn has to be seen also for success and uh, grand success massive success huge success because people can only be successful in one thing yes and i'm not saying that you cannot be successful in 10 things i'm not saying that but massive success you take all big examples you take the example of cricketers you take the example of actors you take the example of people who play food uh, play football or rugby or anything it is yes or politicians you cannot be known in 10 different areas so saturn says okay which is your area your area is it field go and jump into it <laughs> your area is cooking so go and become a chef so now when it enters Mula Nakshatra, then what happens is Saturn now gets a very nice platform to show you that look, these are the things you are supposed to do and now is the time you plant roots. So then you go and plant the roots, which means you not only start doing new things, 
but you also throw away those things which did not work all right so this can act in many different ways for different people depending on which house as saturn is ruling in your chart and i am not going to go by those standard things okay for aries lagna this will happen for taurus lagna this will happen you know the ascendants you know which house as saturn is ruling yes saturn rules capricorn and aquarius so if you keep writing in the comments that why don't you make videos for every ascendant no i am not going to do that i'm sorry <laughs> even if that hurts people all right so you know your ascendant check where the sign 10 and where the sign 11 is falling and accordingly you understand what is this because i don't want to spoon feed people unnecessarily my my gurus did not do that to me so i will also not do that to anybody who is watching this video which means now saturn even irrespective of whichever house it is ruling it is now again going to go into mula nakshatra so currently it is transiting in purva shada but it is retrograde so when saturn goes from mula to purva shada what happens is mula is all about focus and building roots but then when it enters purva shada it gets a hope that oh things are moving slowly <laughs> which means that we become optimistic purva shada is all about optimism not all about optimism but very much about optimism so when saturn goes from mula to uh, purva shada we start feeling that yes we have built our roots and now it is time to move ahead in that doom in in that direction but now it is retrograde so in retrograde what's happening it is again going back into mula yes so 5th june it is going to enter mula again until september 6th it will stay in retrogression and then sep- september it starts going direct and in november it will again enter purva shada so now what is happening is we had built our roots but it seems there was some homework left to be done <laughs> so because of that now saturn is again going back into mula now what we what will happen is we will encounter that some of our plans which we had made when saturn entered purva shada from mula may not work now or we might have to change the course of those activities we might have to take a different route we might have to take a detour as they say because we have to now again plant new seeds new roots yes because mula is all about seeds and roots so now we will experience that there is a time for change in the particular areas where which saturn is ruling in your chart okay and this will be further more uh strongly felt if you have any planet in mula nakshatra in your original birth chart all right because now saturn will again transit over that that planet so now the best thing is whichever ascendant you are or whichever moon sign you are sun sign you are forgetting that saturn always remember is the original ruler of capricorn which is the 10th sign in the kalpurus kundli so it primarily shows our actions yes that is why saturn is very important in transit not just because it is a slow moving planet no that's not the reason the reason is it rules the 10th house and 10th house is the strongest of the kendra house the strongest means most prominent all right because of that our actions become important due due to saturn's rulership that is why saturn's transit is so important so now whatever plan we have whichever area it is we want to buy a home we want to start a new education we want to get married or we want to get into a relationship whatever it is or we want to plan uh, having babies or it can be anything you want to open a new uh, school you want to open a new youtube channel <laughs> all right whatever it is it doesn't matter i am telling you sir <laughs> madam it doesn't matter whatever plan you have see now after november when saturn goes into purva shada it will not come back to mula again after 28 27 30 years it will come so if you are in your 50s then it might happen that this is the last time you see saturn entering mula of course you may survive till then i am not saying that you will die but i am saying if you are in that age then remember this is the only time saturn is entering yes after that saturn will probably uh, not enter yes if you are in 60s or 70s if you are watching this view for 50s 
people they may encounter again saturn's energy in mula yes so if you are in 30s then this will again come when you are in 60s so if you are in 20s this will again come when you have passed your entire life in 50s yes and if you are somewhere in your teens then maybe maybe in 30s or 40s it will come so this harmonious energy of saturn's focus and mula nakshatra's roots will not come now for the next 30 years so now is the time to focus in life now is the time to build our roots now is the time to become serious in life now is the time to take up things seriously man <laughs> now is the time that we actually do things that we want to do because now the energy is harmonious and we don't have much time how much it is june july august september october november it's less than 6 months so the next coming 5 months is very pivotal pivotal or pivotal how do you call it <laughs> it's very 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 important that we build our roots whatever wh whatever is your ascendant again i said it doesn't matter some things can uh, change as per that but after all it is saturn so we will always be focusing on our work so if you are planning a career change now a shift in career or if you are planning that you want to open a new business yes now is the perfect time do it and the best thing is now it is going retrograde also till september so we will become more and more introspective and we will because a retrograde planet is very uh, very strong it is very prominent which means that our ability to think will be 10 times more should i repeat our ability to think and act will be 10 20 100 1000 billion trillion times more than a normal saturn yes because of that we will be able to get new and new ideas and then when it goes to purva chada again in Oct october or oh sorry in november then we will realize that yes finally the roots are being built now so basically to summarize this video uh, now from june to november we might feel that there are some changes we need to do in our career in our workplace or in our life because saturn will definitely rule some house in our chart yes and apart from that we should start doing new things and especially uh, if saturn is ruling prominent houses the trines then it is fantastic time for you to start something spiritual all right and that is all i would say start new things now and whatever you start when saturn is in mula will be the foundation for you for the next lifetime yes i mean for for the next life these years that you live live in this earth yes maybe uh, you stay for another saturn in mula transit or maybe we don't yes who knows somebody is in their 30s 40s and somebody is in their teens tomorrow death might come <laughs> all right so it's to be very practical it's to be very realistic that now at least we have this uh, time where we can build our foundations make strong roots and then use this energy of saturn all right so that is it from my side do not waste time during the next 5 months till november it's a very 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 strong time again i said this will probably not come in your life again who knows we stay after december or not all right so even if it comes maybe we may not be able to do much when it comes again so the fact of the matter is let us build roots now let us start new spiritual practices and let us do things which will give us fulfillment in the long run irrespective of whichever ascendant you are it doesn't matter i'm saying it simply doesn't matter that energy is going to act and you will be forced to pull out some things and put out new things okay and if you want a more detailed analysis on your particular horoscope and if you want to know how this transit will exactly uh, affect you then you can go to my website and you can book a personal reading with me only there when i see your entire chart i see your dashas only then i can tell you what exactly saturn is going to do all right so that is it from my side if you are new to the channel then please subscribe and if you are wanting to get a reading from me then go to my website and that is all god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there till november when saturn
crosses over Mula and goes to Purvashada again. Alright, and if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who who is telling you, oh, I'm planning to open a new business or I'm planning to open a new account in PayPal <laughs> or in YouTube or whatever the person is planning. Okay, so send them this video so they will understand what is going through. So the next six months, five months is very, very, very powerful. Use it. Don't waste it by doing unnecessary things like gossiping about who is having an affair or going and drinking alcohol or smoking. Yes, going around uh, uh, dating members of the opposite sex and wasting time doing all these frivolous activities. Focus on your work, focus on your spirituality and you will get unlimited returns. All right. So that is what saturn is wanting to tell us in mula nakshatra so i wish you all the best and i hope that this transit benefits you and your family members and your friends your husband your wife whoever is there linked with you and it benefits the entire universe all right so that is it from my side wish you good luck and probably let's see each other when saturn enters mula after 27 28 years i hope I keep making videos till that time, okay? Until next time, wish you good luck. Bye-bye. See you.